Hello. Welcome to Linux Desktop in December, part 5, where I take a look at Mate Desktop. Although this looks like another classic desktop, Mate actually started out live more recently, back in 2011. This was a refusal for people to use the new GNOME shell, or GNOME 3 as it became. And they wanted more the classic GNOME 2 desktop environment. So Mate is effectively a fork of GNOME 2, but it has continued to progress in development. So now they're actually moving towards a GTK 3 base, catching up towards GNOME 3. But no, it's they're keeping with the classic styling. So I'm taking a look at it in Ubuntu Mate, which is one of the uh, distros I do quite like and would recommend to newer users of Linux. Mate is a backronym for the Mate Advanced Traditional Environment, and if you're familiar with GNOME 2, you'll see the Mate desktop looks exactly like it in terms of layout here. But there's also the familiar applications. The Nautilus File Manager, now Kaha, and it retains a lot of the traditional GNOME 2 Nautilus features. Now I'll come on to that in a moment. I just want to look at the system usage before I get too far, really. So we'll just open up the terminal. If I can remember which menu it is in, because <laughs> you'll see the problem with this menu is there's no text search, but there is a text search in one of the menus for Mate. So Mate terminal. 3-M, so I've used up 560 meg of RAM already. Ooh, that's uh, quite a bit, really. We do have the welcome screen open. This is a Ubuntu Mate feature. I'm just going to close that and we'll do a retest. Ah, 411, okay. So, okay, that's more of a meaningful benchmark. 400 meg of RAM used with nothing much open. So going back to the Nautilus file manager, one of the features it retains is custom view preferences per folder. So if I go across the pictures folder, you'll see I'm viewing thumbnails there. Back to the main home folder, detailed view. Brilliant. You also have other features such as split screen viewing. And if I right click on an image, you can see we've got a few options here. So opening it in a specific program or alternate programs, setting it as the wallpaper. If you right click on just a folder, I can open up in terminal. So it's a really flexible file manager. I was quite a fan of the old version of Nautilus and this is pretty much what drove me away from Ubuntu when I used the newer version of Nautilus and it sucks. <laughs> There's no other word for it. So the picture editor, no it's not I of Gnome, it is I of Mate. Help about, I of Mate, image viewer. Nothing much you can do here really. You can flip the image around but there's nothing really to edit. Oh, it's a basic image viewer. No, I don't want to save it. Opening up a music video, opens in VLC, year 2525. Right clicking on the application, there's no media controls there, but there are media controls available in the desktop. So right click on the media controller up there in the top right hand side, we can play pause stop and rewind. So if I open up a program in the Pluma text editor, you can see it's done some fancy rendering to help distinguish certain areas of the code. Uh, it's a bit of a weird theme on here in Ubuntu Mate. Okay, we're not going to comment about the theme specifically, I'm more just mentioning this feature exists. It has the ability to colorize source code. For resizing the applications, well, I can drag them down push them to the side of the screen, I can resize to halves, halves by default, push it back to the top, resize full screen. So Ubuntu Mate has this application called Mate Tweak, which allows you to change the layout the panels, so you can change between various styling. Oh, fedora, that's the same, so cappuccino. Cappuccino, so we have an apple style layout with plank at the bottom of the screen. Mutiny, which is a unity style layout. Redmond, that'll be a Windows, Windows 7 style layout. Probably more reminiscent of Windows 2000, really. Oh, got a little crash there. Yeah, okay. And back to the Ubuntu Mate layout. We can also change between the different menus. We have the advanced menu. The advanced menu has a search feature built into it. So I could start typing the name of the application. S-Y-S, the monitor, here we go. Get her in the end. Not quite as convenient as some of the other searches I've used before, because I couldn't scroll up there with the arrow keys, but the Mate system monitor. So how are we doing now? 700 meg of RAM used. 
Okay, crept up a little bit now, messing around with it. So you can use a couple of different window managers here. So we have the Marco compositor selected by default. Now this is a fork of the Metacity compositor, I do believe. We can also choose the Compiz renderer. So there's a few different theme options we have here. We have Black Mate. So back to the ambient Mate. Background, uh, desktop background. Within Deconf Editor, there'll be even more changes you can make to the desktop. It's kind of the closest that we get to having a Windows registry in Linux. So in conclusion, I really like the Mate desktop. If only I hadn't gone down the KDE route, I would have been using this operating system. They've done a brilliant job of recreating the old GNOME Classic desktop. And if that's what you'd like, I thoroughly recommend it. Thanks for watching. See you all later.